One, two, three. Since 2005, over 150 trumpeter swans have been released in western Montana's Blackfoot Valley. This year, 25 to 30 trumpeters have returned, and there are at least five breeding pairs on the ground. You might think that events like this would become old news, but as the swan numbers continue to grow, so does the public's interest in seeing this reintroduction succeed. You know, and this kind of underscores how lucky we are to be in Montana. It had been a hundred years since we'd seen one of these animals right here in this valley. So it's amazing that we get to be a part of it. So each school each year adopts a trumper swan. So the teacher gets to hold it, the kids get their photo with it. That is their swan that they've adopted. They get to follow it on a website called Adopt a Swan and track it and be part of the success of this overall trumper swan restoration program. What's great about this is I mean, this valley's come together. They put aside all differences and focus on the future, the future of this valley, the future for these kids, and uh, the opportunities to have these beautiful animals um, be a part of Montana's landscape for generations to come. It's amazing. I mean, feeling its heartbeat and knowing that here's an animal that we're hoping will stay in Montana. Um, it's just an amazing experience. It really is. In addition to the tremendous local support, the swans have a biological factor working in their favor. These birds will imprint or consider home, not the place they were born, but this place where they'll learn to fly. This is Mike Grunet, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. That's so wonderful. Isn't that just awesome?